On today's episode of People Just Saying Anything on the Internet, this woman is going viral on social media for sharing how she met her now fiancé at dinner and told him that first night that her kitty had a $1,000 price tag on it. And he was like, okay, bet. Just watch the video. Get ready with me as I tell you guys how I met my fiancé. Disclaimer, if you're against selling that cat and putting a price on your kitty, I suggest you exit because over here... We got a prize, baby. Okay. I am just doing the final touches on my makeup because honestly, I filmed this video and then I was like, oh, let me film it again. People come on my comments all the time and they're like, be honest, you were out selling that cat and that's how you met him. And I was because I have no shame in having a price on my kitty cat. So I met my now fiance at one of my favorite hotel bars that I used to go to in Boston. I was actually waiting for my friend because she and I were gonna go a little bar hopping. So as soon as I walked in and sat down, I think I was sitting down for probably like two minutes, he walks in with his guy friend. Immediately they walk up to me. First thing he said was, can I buy you a drink? Take notes, ladies. That is how a gentleman approaches a woman sitting at the bar. He didn't ask me my name. He didn't ask me what I did for a living. He didn't ask any of those things. He just asked me what I wanted to drink. And the bartender was making our drinks. I excused myself to the ladies room and I wanted him to see my legs because my legs were out and I was looking good, okay? And when I came back, the sitting arrangements had changed because he Originally, his friend was sitting next to me and he was sitting on the other side to his friend. And when I came back from the bathroom, him and his friend had exchanged seats. So I obviously caught game because I'm like, okay, so obviously he really likes me, which is fine because he was the one that was swiping the car. <laughs> Then at this point, my friend walks in, he offers to buy my friend a drink and you know, we're hanging out, we're getting to know each other. And at the end of the night, he asks me if I wanna come back to his place. And obviously I told him it was gonna cost him because I'm sorry, you just met me. So if you're gonna assume I'm a, I'm going to be a hoe that gets paid. I'm not a free hoe. And he told me that, you know, that wasn't something that he does and he doesn't carry, you know, that amount of cash on him. <laughs> Uh, but he then proceeds to tell me that he would still like to get to know me and take me out to dinner one day. Most men are threatened by women that have a price on their kitty. So I was actually surprised to hear him say he would still like to take me out to dinner, even though I turned him down or told him that it was gonna cost him some coins if I was to go home with him. But when I gave him my number, I did not really think that he was going to like actually reach out a week later he reached out and he asked me out to dinner on our first date to mind he met me during my birthday month we met like three weeks before my actual birthday and for my actual birthday i was going to morocco we went on our first date and then we went on our second date a week before i was supposed to leave for morocco so he already you know asked me out for our third date but because it was my birthday month I told him that I wasn't gonna go on a third date with him unless he was gonna have a gift for me because it's my birthday month. You are courting me, you wanna take me out, you wanna spend time with me. What do I look like spending time on my birthday month with a man who's not gonna buy me a gift? <laughs> and once again, he wasn't offended by that and he said, of course he could do that on our third day. So we went out to eat and then he was like, would you like to go back to my place? On this day, I said, of course. Um, also, my gift was at his house. I wanted to see what the gift was. So we go to his house. He got me this cute Louis Vuitton purse with this Chanel perfume. Also a basket filled with like mask, chocolate, little things that girls like. Like he literally put a lot of thought into it. And I was like, that is so sweet. And then he wanted to kiss me. And I was like, mm -mm, baby, relax. <laughs> hold on we need to talk about it i was like what are we what are we doing and so he then proceeded to ask me to be his girlfriend 
but like I said, I was thotting and bopping. So I had a Rasta, a Rasta of men that were taking care of me, paying my bills, buying me nice things, taking me on vacation. So I told him that there was no way I could give him exclusiveness unless he was willing to take care of everything that these other guys were taking care of, which was my bills, my you know car everything and once again he wasn't threatened by it and he agreed he said of course that's something that he can do i then was like okay i'm going to be your girlfriend and so then i became a stay-at-home girlfriend and i didn't have to go out and thought and bop anymore you know because i had him paying my bills At the time i had my own place he had his own place we did not start really living together until after we got engaged and even after we got engaged i still lived in my own place for a while you guys like to hear the story about how i got him to propose to me let me know in the comments but yeah that is how i met my now fiance all of the story is don't let anybody tell you that your past is going to determine your future and a man that really loves you is going to love you regardless of what you did and the mistakes that you made in the past First of all, everything isn't for the internet. But since you brought your personal business on the internet, I will say this. Taking home a stranger is wild. And saying it's going to cost you is wild too. Everybody pulling from 30 feet here. Whoever that man is, he got to be down bad. These simps are spending the bag on the woman they want. They know what they are signing up for. If shit goes left, that's their L to take. She told him what it was and he was cool with it. It is not my place to judge. This is just a client who got lost in the sauce. She had me up until she said most men are threatened by women having a price on their kitty. No man is threatened by that. We just think the idea of paying for it is beneath us. That in no way is equivalent to feeling threatened. Also, there is no lesson in this whatsoever. A lot of you just disguise prostitution as self-worth and vindication. It's a sad world we live in for real. But I guess you are what the market says you are. It surprisingly worked well for her, so I hope both parties are happy in whatever the arrangement is. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.